Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add some light probes throughout the scene. Uh, what light probes allow, uh, what light probes help is that when a game object or or when you're playing the game, it allows to trans translate the lighting onto the game object. Because on, on some uh, static game objects, uh, the light uh, doesn't work uh, well on a static object. So let's see here. I'm just going to bring in a, I'm going to go create a game object and show you. Just bring a cube in. In this scene. All right. As you see, see, uh, you, you have some, some black on there. It's not translating into the scene that well. Uh, so, so that's why for the light probes. So to get started, right click. No, I'm sorry. Go to create. Create empty. I'm just gonna call this LP group or a light probe group. All right. And then. Uh, And we don't have to zero out the transforms on this. So on here, you go on a right click, go to lighting, click on light probe group. That adds the light the light probe to it. So as you see, see now the cube. Is it is a uh, lighted? So if we turn it off, and now it's lighted. So uh, to add the light probe group, we're gonna we're gonna add all. Oh, we're gonna duplicate the light probes across the scene. So first, I'm going to start with the bathroom, and also make these uh, a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to select I'm going to shift select. So select this, and then hold down shift, and selecting these. Just going to move it out. down a little bit and selecting these two you know? and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start duplicating it so I'm going to select this hold down shift select these Then press Control D to duplicate it. All right. Then I'm gonna go over here, select these, hold down Shift, select these four, duplicate it. I press Control D. And uh, duplicate it again. Again, again until I get all the way up to the the wall like so. All right, and then then I'm gonna move these into the uh, into the stalls. So I'm gonna select these, and then Control D, duplicate it into the stall. I move these two over. Press Control D. Okay, right here. Then I'm just gonna 
do get these four inside that stall. Hold on, shift, select them, and duplicate them. So basically, basically all, all I'm doing is I'm just making a uh, duplicate a uh, uh, light post uh, across the scene. Go ahead and bring these down. Four. Okay, that's that's good. All right. Like in these, uh, see a control D, D, K, okay, good. You can do it that way. So I just selected these by holding shift and then do press control D to duplicate these. Then I'm going to duplicate it again to put it into to this stall. All right. And then, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate, oh, duplicate these. I'm going to duplicate these two. Hold down shift, control D. And control D again. And also make sure, sure that these actually are all, are on the floor. So let me make sure by holding down shift. Sure, they're they're on the floor, like so. All right. Okay, so, so let's see here. It's like these again. Control D. Duplicate it out. All right. Control D. I'm gonna start moving them to the side. Press the Control D. All right. Now I'm just fill up these sides real quick. Then I'm just gonna how do I get these to the end? That's good. I'm gonna select all these. Then I'm just gonna Control D all the way down to the end. Selecting these by holding down the shift key. Press control D. Control D again. Control D to get the many light probe inside the scene too. Go ahead, just make sure, make sure they are very good inside here. All right. It's that. Uh, make sure it's you know, to the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, take this light probe. Control D it. I'm gonna move it in inside there. Inside the uh, inside the room, pressing Control D.
I'm going to move these into the other room by selecting all of these, holding down the shift key. Are rooms. Alright. I'm going to grab uh, uh, these. Let me move this over. All the way down the shift key. And then I'm going to duplicate it, move it inside there. Press Control D. Move inside. Oh, that's the, that's the lobby. I'll get there. Get there later. Let me get the rooms first. Uh, so the I'm just like these two. So, press Control D. Move inside. Let's spread these out. Hold down shift, select these again, press control D, and then control D again. And then selecting, it's going to select these instead. down to shift to select them and then uh, we're gonna go ahead sorry okay missed this one and, and this all right now control uh, control D Side here and control D again and move inside the other, other room. Basically, all, all, all we're just doing is just, we're just filling out, out the whole entire, entire scene with, with light ropes. That's basically all we're doing. General idea. Just uh, just filling out out this whole entire level.
Okay, so so this one, I'm just gonna speed this up. Then once I'm uh, once I'm done, I'm gonna play the video back again, and I should be done with the whole entire uh, scene with the light probes to show. Okay, so so now I got all the light probes throughout the throughout the uh, the scene. As you notice, uh, if you when you added the light probes inside the classroom, uh, you notice that uh, even the, the picture started uh, to uh, to uh, take in the probes because we didn't set these as light map static, um, and also the um, also the uh, the board, the projector, and the projecting screen uh, because uh, we didn't set it to uh, light light map static and probably some some of the uh, lights as well so so yeah all you have to do is just go through uh, the uh, go through the uh, level and then just just go ahead and um, add the light probes throughout the uh, throughout, throughout the scene uh, uh, space them out uh, I wouldn't uh, just just like uh, make the spacing uh, too big I just just try to space them out almost like this. Space it out uh, uh, each time, and just making the light probes fill out the uh, the sides, and then just make it so uh, so when uh, when the player and the zombies move through the game, uh, they are getting the uh, light. All right. Other than that, uh, this. This is actually done. Uh, if you want to uh, to check out the uh, the game scene by pressing play and use the first character controller to move around to see what you uh, successfully could have completed, uh, go ahead and and do so. Um, also, you could uh, uh, let your friends and family see what what an awesome job you uh, did. Uh, by following along uh, this uh, level design uh, tutorial. Uh, other than that, um, we are actually done. So just just go ahead and click save. If you want, you can uh, change it up, uh, change up the lighting, make it a different color, um, uh, mess with the uh, the uh, mess with the uh, post processing uh, effects. Just to see what you can uh, do, and uh, and then that's it. Then, in the next set of tutorials, we're going to be moving on to adding the uh, adding our our actors and actresses, which is the uh, the player, his friends, and the zombies. Other than that, uh, see you in the in the next uh, tutorial. Okay, hopefully you guys had fun in the uh, <clears throat> level design. Uh, I apologize if it was uh, too long, but but yeah, level design is uh, it's kind of time time consuming, but it's it's actually fun. Uh, see what you can uh, create, uh, which is pretty awesome uh, with this uh, with this uh, game development tool called Unity, and also the assets are free, so um, you can create some some pretty awesome stuff. But uh, if you like um, if you like this and you had fun, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to learn more about developing games and also uh, uh, level design, uh, check out the uh, Amazon affiliate link below in the description. That will show you how to build uh, games. And also, if you want to uh, support me on my quest to build 50 different uh, uh, game tutorials, from different games and uh, by the end of the year please uh, uh, support me on my patreon uh, link that's also found below and also I will see you guys in the next set of tutorials where I um, show you how to create the uh, zombie uh, player characters where to get them and um, have them uh, fill up the uh, this level uh, 
And also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and uh, make sure you click File and Save. Save the scene and also File and Save the Project. Other than that, uh, see you guys later.